Hey, what's up guys? Um, been a long time. I'm just uh, purging this tube out to weld. Um, got a couple projects in the shop. Uh, Nova for some headers, cage work, uh, drive shaft loops, aluminum exhaust. We're gonna bead roll the panel back here, mounting the seats, a whole bunch of stuff. Now uh, radiator stuff. And we got a uh, a fox body here i believe this is a 91 and it's got 4,000 original miles on it this is a i don't know if you can see but that's a coyote it's a 302 coyote swap that we're doing twin turbos on it um i finished mounting the top turbo up here um working on the second turbo down here um, their um borg warner 68 62s right here uh, they're billet wheels um these are cool because they have the borg warner uh cold side and then they have the precision the precision turbo and engine uh hot side which is really small and if you know uh coyote swaps you know there's pretty much no room to do anything on there um here's the second uh the second turbo being mounted I already made like a turbo mount, uh, if you can see it up there. The turbo here is already mounted and I made a little brace for it. Um, so yeah, and these are uh, float, float tech headers, I believe. Um, they're pretty good quality. The only thing is the driver's side like doesn't fit. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. I had to cut, if you look at the steering shaft, I had to cut the rear header and I have to remake that. Let me see if I can show you, there it is, right there. I had to cut that and I have to remake it super tight, but uh, here's the kit, there's some of the welds on it. Uh, those are my welds, not theirs. <laughs> um, we, we went with the flexes, we were gonna do bellows, but there's no room for the bellows, so we just did regular flexes. And if you know welding, you know how hard these are to make look good, so. That's, that's a feat in itself. Uh, here's that little brace I made out of uh, one inch DOM and then uh, three, and then a half inch DOM. Um, yeah, I gotta do a bunch of stuff. Gotta relocate this power steering reservoir. Oh, man, there's no room in this car. I made that, that front bar right here to mount the, uh, the intercooler. We gotta tuck the radiator, mount the power steering, mount the, Mount the uh, AC condenser, he wants to keep this car. Like I said, this car is gorgeous. 4,000 original miles, super, super clean. There's the uh, aluminum exhaust for that, uh, for that Nova over there. Uh, it's just a small block Chevy, fully built, forged. Um, aluminum drive shaft in here. Currently, I was mocking that up. Really nice car. It's gonna be a uh, nitrous car. The paint is super gorgeous on it. My friend painted this. Um, fuel cell, NOS bottle, surge tank, battery box, you know, the usual stuff. I've also been, uh, I've been painting motorcycles, mostly like Harleys, and I got uh, two in here right now. This is a Harley Dyna that's going like candy, uh, candy apple red with like airbrush graphics and stuff. It's just silver. And then I sanded the clear coat so I could start my graphics and stuff. And here's one. Um, I already painted uh, the other tins for this bike that are in the back. I'll show you guys. But I don't know if you can see the flake. This is getting uh, the candy gold with airbrush graphics. Uh, here's my, uh, there's a downpipe I'm sort of fixing. So we're going to remake this out of titanium. But, uh. Yeah, that should be all purged, so we'll get to welding that, but here's that, uh, the rest of, here's that bike, the tins I painted for it. So once I'm finished painting the tank, probably this weekend, the customer, the customer can come and pick it up. I don't know if you can see the flake through it, I know you can see it on this one. He, he wanted to be, uh, he wanted to do gold and blue, I advised him against it. Cause I just don't think it's a very good color combo, but uh, I try to, you know, incorporate it a little bit. Here's some more airbrush graphics and stuff. 
and I, I tried out a new clear coat on this. It's a U-Paul product and it's great clear coat. Yeah, this is a, like I said, I'm doing more of this recently. This is probably my fourth bike I painted this month. And it's off of these like Harley guys. There's a couple of my bikes. <laughs> it's Ruckus, Z125. But yeah, this is a, a box full of titanium goodies. This is all titanium. You got B bands, pie cuts back there. Four inch, three inch, three and a half, one seven five. We got all sorts of stuff. But yeah, let's get to uh, finish welding this. Set you guys up. And I've been really lately. Uh, I've been getting a lot of higher end cars, uh, which is what I want to start, you know, gravitating towards. I don't want to do like, you know, I don't want to say lower end cars, but I don't want people that are worried like the money or the price is the end all be all. If you want top quality work with top quality materials, you have to be willing to pay a little more on fabrication and price. So that's why I've been spending more money, you know, more time and energy on focusing on fit up and, and really crisp weld so uh, I've been trying to you know go towards that crowd and it's been working out for me and I've been uh, I changed my welding style a bit um, on on like hot side parts that like support or like are, or support weight or right next to the turbo or a lot of heat I uh, slow down my travel speed just so I get extra full penetration not extra but you know full penetration all the way through and then I'll shove a whole bunch of rod in there and uh, I used to use 035 for regular joints like this on and now I still use 035 a lot but on this you know on 16 gauge 065 wall, I'm using uh, 045 now, so it's a little extra wire. And uh, still using, I was using this little cup, this Jazzy 10. I just took that off, I forgot it. So some of the welds in the beginning are a little more colorful than I'd like, but yeah, I'm still using the HTP. Man, this machine's been solid. I'll never buy another machine other than HTP. It's a phenomenal machine. I've had it six years, never had a single issue with it. So a huge shout out to HTP. And I'm currently trying the uh, Blue Demon um, multi-purpose, the laser tungsten, the pink, which is really good. I like it so far on both AC and, you know, stainless steel or just, you know, DC, but it's been working out good. And this is all stainless 304 uh, sanitary, and I'm going to be using the uh, the Furic 316 stainless uh, O2 bungs at the end of this, so it'll be cool. But yeah, just focus on, you know, being slow and steady with it. Focus on the penetration, on the puddle dip uh, sinking in. 
and adding filler consistently. One more well. That one is finished. Turn off the perch, turn off the gas. Uh, I bought a liquid tank, a liquid argon tank. I used it for one month, then I sold it just because it would waste so much argon if I didn't use it every day. So I got rid of that. Here is uh, the welds I just finished, full penetration welds. I don't know if you can see in there. Let's see if this side's better. There it is, full penetration. So yeah, all right, thanks for sticking around, guys. Uh, I'm gonna try to post more videos, but I'm just so dang busy, it's hard. But uh, all right, thank you, stay tuned.